did that airplane song about two years ago, and um, Haley Williams was like, oh, I really like this. And actually, her mom contacted me, and now we're like really good friends. She actually just came to the show in Nashville to check us uh, check us out, and uh, that's been really interesting. It's all because I covered her daughter's song. <laughs> So Hello Love Heartbreak is the title of the EP and um, it kind of just represents my relationship life. I'm not very good at relationships. I meet someone, kind of fall in love with someone and then um, it's just a heartbreak and a sad moment after that. So I'm looking forward to finding someone that will be Hello Love Forever. <laughs> I've done a bunch of uh, cover music and it's so easy. You can knock those out in like half a day. Um, but doing my original stuff, it's just... It's so there's it's harder to release. It's harder to, to create and like let go. And so I'll spend weeks and weeks at a time on like one mix. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's it's just it's it's a lot more personal. Um, and I actually love that a lot more than just doing the cover stuff. I spent a lot of time working on those tunes. Kind of narrowed it down from 40 songs, and then picked six of my favorite. And then we're gonna release six more of my favorite. Um, later in 2013. I feel like if you give people too much at one time, they kind of forget about you. And if you do little, you know, uh, little baby pieces here and there, people will be like, oh yeah, there's there's more to this. There's, there's, there's a second half and I'm looking forward to that as well. When I found that out, I just kind of was like, what? This is, it just, it, it kind of, reified everything it just just reaffirmed that I was doing what I'm supposed to be doing and um, it just it made me and it made my parents happy too they were like okay we're proud of you son I was like well it's working <laughs> you know I don't know what to expect because it was like my original stuff for the first time I'm like here's me and when it when it saw success I was just kind of like wow just mind blown it's been awesome and and the fans the support just to see just the way they respond and react and they know the lyrics they know the songs and they're crazy loud it's just been really really special and it lets me know that like I'm actually I, I don't know I think I'm doing okay in the music business so I it's it's been really nice it's been cool I've gotten really 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 close with the guys in my band and we've had less people on this tour so it's a lot less stressful we each have a row in the van so we can sleep <laughs> we got a great tour manager now so he, he knows exactly where, where to have us when to have us and I just kind of get to focus on the music side of things. So when I was in Utah, um, I actually went to go use the bathroom, and I didn't realize it was a public bathroom, because I thought it was a green room, you know, whatever, you sit down in there, and, and so I went to go use the girls' bathroom, because no one's going to go in there, it's the green room, or a bunch of dudes, whatever. And so I sat in there, and, and people started coming in, and two girls used the stalls next to me, and you start hearing them do their business, and you're kind of like, what? So you kind of like raise your feet to make sure people don't, you know what I mean? Like, ah. Uh, and I, I was texting my manager, I was like, Kibby, I gotta get out of here, gotta get out of here, gotta get out of here. And he just laughed at me. And I was probably in there for about a good 15, 20 minutes just waiting until these girls were done. I just walked out and they were like, what? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. I got to perform with the band Perry and it was really, really interesting because they just kind of threw me in a room. They're like, all right, well, they're gonna come in and you're gonna sing a song. And I was like, uh, okay. They're like, you know they're single, right? And I was like, yeah, I guess. And so like, I spent like two or three minutes getting it in my key. And then she comes in and it's all on video. And she's like, oh, that's an interesting key. And I was like, I... she's like, all right, we'll just try it. So we just went through it. And it was just like, those, those guys and the girl, man, they can like harmonize like nobody's business. So me kind of coming into their territory, I was a little bit like, I'll let you guys do the harmony part. <laughs> they were great. It was fun though. It was fun to be able to work with them. I did perform How to Love on Ellen with Christina Grimmie, actually. Yeah. She's a killer YouTuber as well. She's crushing it, doing a great job. Um, and she's a good friend of mine now. But we, we, we got to perform there, and it was, it was quite the experience. It was, it was different because it was like, okay, you're going to be seen by a whole different audience, a whole different demographic. Most of my, my demographics are like 17 to 20 year old females. And this is like, you know, moms and stay at home people. And you're kind of like, well, hope they like what we do. So it seemed to go over pretty well. <laughs> I think we are in the future currently. I, the fact that I'm able to tour because based of, off of YouTube videos and, and draw crowds in every market, um, it kind of it's it is the new model. I mean, we're living it right now, and I think it's only going to grow. And and who knows what the next model is after that? But I'm really happy that I caught the wave for this for this model for sure. I actually love the YouTube music community. There's the the people. It, th th we couldn't we couldn't do it without each other. We help. We collab with each other. 
um, we create content together. We know how the world works, um, and it's and it's kind of a unique little niche market. And so there's probably 10, 15, 20 people that I know that are really great YouTubers that you can kind of depend on and come to with ideas and collaboration efforts and all this stuff. And I think without them, I wouldn't be as far along as I am today. So it's it's cool little community.